The San Beda Red Lions are on a mission this NCAA Season 95. The Red Lions are out to win their fourth straight men's basketball crown. San Beda opened NCAA Season 95 with a big win over Arellano University last weekend. And with us today are some of the San Beda Red Lions. The Bandana brothers Evan Nell and James Candas and Cameroonian big man Donald Tanko. Welcome guys and you know congrats on that big win last weekend for the opening weekend of the NCAA season 95. And I want to you know start it off like you know, what's your motivation coming into the season since I know you're running for you know the fourth straight men's basketball crown. Donald. Uh, like motivation oh. what is motivating you I guess to get you know, that fourth straight, you're starting a legacy here for San Beda and it is your uh, final year. Yes. Uh, the, our motivation is to go out of San Beda with a, with a win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a four pit and all the graduate players are looking forward to that. So we always improving every game and we hope it's going to end well. That's true. And speaking of improving, um, your score against you know the Arellano Chiefs, uh, which was of course the host university for NCAA, and you had a big win, 59-46. But I know you guys have higher standards for yourself. You know what are the rooms for improvement? You know coming from that first game, Evan. Um, for me, teamwork. Mm -hmm. uh, coach told us that we only had 13 assists the whole game. Yes. Our average is about 20, so you have to work on that. Um, maybe first uh, first game jitters was a factor, but uh, we've been practicing and we're here to bounce back. So. How about for you, James? I think um, that game we didn't execute properly in like the first first two halves. Yes. And uh, as all of us, like we expected, obviously to win the game by a lot, mm -hmm. but we were just too eager to like shoot the ball and stuff and coach told us to like calm down and relax so, yeah, so it really was first game jitters i'm sure everyone really wanted you know to make a statement on the opening weekend but you know what's it like i guess for both of you it is your second year after you know a great freshman year what's how is it now playing with your teammates what's better what's more different with the chemistry with you guys um for me what i can see is we're more of a family now um, we've been going out together after game, we would eat out. Um, mm -hmm. We had the team bonding in La Union, we went to the States. We, we bonded, we gelled well, really, the, uh, really good there. Um, and um, we're just accepting each other's personality, so that went well naman for us. And how will that lead you to hopefully getting the championship this NCAA season? Well, by being more consistent as a, a team player and like, us trusting each other yeah. on and off the court and pretty much like, like a brotherhood. And in that brotherhood, Donald, you are like the head brother. You are the senior, they look up to you. Uh, you know, do you feel any pressure, I guess, in leading your school and leading your younger brothers to a championship? Uh, there's always pressure mm -hmm. uh, when you have to lead the team yeah. and everything. Uh, they're young, I understand, I understand that, so we just have to keep talking together, accepting all personality and everything, each of us, and play as a family. Did you give them any advice before the season started? Yeah, always. Oh, okay, let's advice. hear it. <laughs> yeah. I always tell them that to be mature mm -hmm. enough is not their first year anymore it's already the second year so they can do well they can really <laughs> you improve to pass in the ball, so. how about you what are the, some of the things that Donald you know tells you to improve your game he always says like you're not like a rookie anymore so you better like take care of the ball and like play as a leader uh, so if Donald already gave you advice, you know, on his final year, do you have, I guess, any promises that you'd want to make him, you know, for him and all the other graduating players to graduate with a crown? We're really close to the graduating players, Donnie, Nunu, Clinton, AC. We're yeah. really close. We're like, as I said, a family. So for us, we want to win it for them too. Because um, um, when we play for San Beda, it's never less of a championship. You can never think of second place. Uh, so. Uh, we're trying to build a legacy here. We want them to like go on with their lives as a champion, uh, 
we want we want them to be remembered for how how they helped San Beda. So we're gonna really work on that. So. And speaking of being remembered, you guys are known and are remembered as the Bandana Bros. Can you tell us the story behind that? <laughs> I it all started when in the States, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to the Nike store and I was thinking about like, I wanted to do something this year, something new. Yeah. With like the way I look. So I asked one of the workers, for, like, do you guys have like, one of those bandanas? And so I, I, got, I got a pair for me and Yvonne. So that's like a new drip. So pretty much that's it, yeah. Donnie, how are you finding their fashion? Do you agree with it? Yeah, I agree, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's, it's helping them with their it's game? Funny and it's, no, it's helping them, of course. Yeah. So to just be together and bring the team ahead. Uh, so. Well, Evan was saying a while ago, yeah, that, you know, when you're playing for San Beda, it's never less than a championship. Yeah. So what would this mean for the team, for San Beda, and the whole community? Uh, since I've been there, we always win, so there's no second place. And to be thankful of all the family, Sambeda family, yeah. the community, We've been supporting all you. the support. Uh, yeah, we we have to give that to them. Wow, uh, well, yeah. thank and you so much for that. And I guess we're looking for a successful run for Sambeda this season 95. Thank you so much, James, Evan, Nell, and of course, Donald and Goa. Thank, thank you. you. This has been The Score. I'm Denise Densai, and you can also watch The Score episode at I Want For Free. We leave you with the latest on the Pacquiao Thurman title class and our features on the Rocks Outdoor Expo and the JRU Pep Rally. We'll see you again tomorrow. ng matinding paganda para sa welterweight championship fight kay Keith Thurman, ibinunyag ni Manny Pacquiao kung saan siya humuhugot ng lakas para kayanin ng hirap ng sport na boxing. Kwento ng 8 Division World Champion sa edad na 15, nagtatrabaho na siya bilang welder sa construction sa Maynila dahil siya ang breadwinner ng pamilya. Bago pumasok sa trabaho ng alas 7, nagja-jogging muna siya. At sa gabi, pagkatapos ng trabaho, diretso siya ng ensayo sa boxing. Twin Biernes ang sahod niyang 1,200 pesos kada linggo. Pinagkakasya para sa sarili at pamilya. Ang kalahati, pinupuhunan niya sa bayan sa ng Sampagita. Ang kita niya doon, pinapadala kay Mami D sa Jensen para sa pangkain at pagpapaaral sa kapatid na sina Rogelio at Bobby na ngayon ay parehong Kong Congressman. Sabi ni Pacquiao, sanay siyang kumayod mula umaga hanggang gabi. Yeah. Sa tour din ng gabi, nasa dangwa ko. Nabili ako ng uh, mga bulaklak sa pagita, rose. Tapos niriripa ko yan. Nilalagay ko sa, sa palde, nilalagay ko ng ice, tapos nagriripa ko ng sa pagita. Madaling araw ng linggo, nandun ako sa harapan ng simbahan ng katulik. Tapos binta ko yung ano ko, yung bulaklak. Ito, umiyak ito sila. Sabi ko, huwag kayo lulukulo. Ang hirap ng trabaho ko. Boxing pa ako. Tapos nag-construction pa ako. Lalong porsigido si Manny sa laban dahil sa mga insultong binibitawan sa mga interview at TV guesting ng undefeated na kalaban na si Thurman. Sa Florida, nag sayo ang Amerikano. May Pacquiao, T-Rex on. Pop, pop, pop. Focus on the fight. Would you like to think we have a, a job? I can't wait to punch. Me too. Dahil sa sobrang pukpuk sa insayo, hindi na tinuloy kanina ang sparring session sa gym. Sabi ni Coach Freddy, handang-handa na si Manny para sa laban. I think we'll like to see I have. Diane Castillo, ABS-CBN News, Los Angeles, California. It's about time to go out and play. That's the nudge at the first ever ROX Outdoor Expo. Play outside as sports, outdoor, and adventure brands come together for a fun-filled event for outgoing Filipinos. Be it 
in outdoor adventure, travel, action sports. So we have the right brand and the proper gear for you for your adventure travels. Fitness enthusiasts tried out various activities like chair yoga, bear crawl, Solomon challenges, body hop, and track stand challenge. But it doesn't stop there. This year, organizers have also included math-solving problems in the event. One of the more competitive stations is for the last man standing, as it combines both physical and mental toughness. The last man standing, participants has to stand on a three-foot log with the given challenges in between. We have the yoga poses. It's for them to test their endurance. For beginners and even hardcore athletes, playing outside is more than just being in a regular gym because of the sense of adventure brought out by the great outdoors. So Filipinos, we are, you know, we are naturally drawn into the outdoors and into action sports and we want to experience nature. So if you go to ROX, you will be able to get the right gear for the adventure that you want to do. The annual celebration of Jose Rizal University's pep rally kicks off on an Aladdin-inspired theme. To celebrate our 100th year, we have new things in store for all of you. A grand production number from all the athletes of Jose Rizal University. The entire Rizalian community applauded as they welcomed their student athletes who will compete in this year's NCAA tournament. Para sa akin, sobrang importante na tong pep rally kasi yung mga estudyante makikilala ka then nakagana sa paglalaro ito eh. The event was also highlighted by special performances from star music artists Brian Gazmen, Brian Tamundong, and Marlo Mortel. I would like to call on all Rizalians to please support, watch the JRU Heavy Bombers in the coming Season 95 of the NCAA. Mabuhay Rizal! Mabuhay Rizal! Mabuhay Rizal!